Actually, nung, uh, pleasant surprise siya sa akin nung sinabi po na, oh, uh, Sun Life uh, was in inviting you to become one of their brand ambassadors. Sabi ko, talaga ba, love? Sabi ko, salamat. But to be honest po, no, uh, meron akong mga konting apprehensions po, uh, mga questions na. Sabi ko, love, paano ba ito? Kasi meron akong mga uh, concerns. Siyempre, we're newly married couple. We're young. And uh, first time ko rin naman pong mag-asawa. <laughs> Sana first and last, di ba, my love? So, <laughs> so, sabi ko, mahal, di ba, siyempre, pag-endorser ka, merong set of expectations from you as an endorser. So, medyo merong uh, fear po na maka-deliver. Maka But ang asawa ko uh, was talagang very self-assured siya and he was uh, very confident about his uh, family dito po sa Sun Life. Sabi niya sa akin, love, don't, don't worry. Don't be afraid to ask questions from the TV. Because like you, before, pareha tayo, love, eh. I had a lot of questions, pero ang Sun Life family ko really helped me and guided me na talagang all the way, diba, love, sa, sa financial planning, um, how to grow your money, Maaga ka nagsimula, love, at uh, I'm very, very proud of my husband. Hindi ko lang po, <laughs> hindi lang po ako open and, and, and very vocal about it because syempre gusto ko po uh, yung personal life namin uh, as, as, as a couple ay sa amin din lang din. But syempre, uh, hindi naman po may iwasan yan because medyo ganun. Parti talaga po yun ang buhay namin as public figures. So, I'm very happy and proud to be part of a company who values the future of Filipino families. And ang kanilang whose goal is to really educate people about financial literacy. Napaka-importante nun. Kasi ano yun eh, um, I think kapag ka nagka-anak tayo, yun ang kailangan na kailangan. Equip na equip ang anak natin pagdating sa... Kasi kailangan talaga po yun para hindi maloko ang anak mo. Di ba, love? Yan. So, yeah, that's the goal. Financial. Malagpapin mo na lang si Sa. Napanggalit mo siya rin tayo. I think she answered all the questions. <laughs> I honestly don't even understand where the, where the doubt was coming from. Sorry, time I wasn't looking at you. Sorry. Kasi nininervous ko ako. Pagkat ito ang usaping pera. She's very intimidated coming here and said to me, Love, Sun Life, sigurado ba yan? Sabi ko, Love, I've been with Sun Life for eight years and I started from, um, baga, not knowing anything. And, you know, Sun Life has really um, developed my knowledge about finances and investing and all these things. So I'm very, very thankful. No, no, I'm getting to get Sun Life because they guide you throughout the years and every step of the way they guide you. Um, so maraming, maraming, sun, maraming salamat sa Sun Life and um, love, welcome to Sun Life. Thank you po. And let's start with a question. Thank you. No, talaga po maraming salamat po for the trust. Salamat po. Sarah, you're very much welcome with us here at the Sun Life family. Ikinakabakil ko na ito, but we're super happy to have you with us. But you know, um, Sun Life is really all about you know being a partner to Filipinos and you you know having a very successful career gano ka importante sa yung ganon you know having a partner who helps you achieve your dream so you have a uh, uh, whole team surrounding you and helping you rooting for you how important is that for you ah uh, ano po yung kaila like any other normal person po lahat tayo kailangan natin ng we need to be surrounded by people na talagang trustworthy po na hindi ka matatakot to be, to be yourself, di ba? Hindi ka, hindi ka mag-aalangan na uh, dapat lagi ako best food forward, di ba? Ano, pag nakita nila yung ganito ko, yung mali ko, baka layuan na nila ako. But importante, lalo-lalo na people who will ground you, yan. Who will be completely honest with you pag may nakikita sila na, oh, sarap, parang medyo mali ito ang ginawa mo, parang may napuhingat dyan, yun yan. Yung talagang who is, kasi kami po, ang different siguro sa amin as, uh, as uh, part of the entertainment business, kami mismo po yung produkto eh. So pag lumabas na kami, the moment na lumabas kami ng bahay, eto na! <laughs> Matayo ko din siya, Lisa, reheron mo, o Poyolo Pascual, o Inigo Pascual, kami mismo yun eh. So, mahirap po magkamali sa public eye. But, um, 
uh, importante pag nakakitahan ng mga tao na alam mo who is who are who is after your welfare your well-being yung mentally uh, kumbaga they are for your health hindi lang physically but mentally and emotionally hindi ka lang titingnan bilang produkto o business ka lang kaya we are here for you pag wala na yan wala na rin kami pag nakita mo yung mga tao yun na talagang mararamdaman mo na mahal ka talaga for who you are may pera ka man sikat ka man daos ka man for kids yun for kids oh, at, at, at so far pagtasan natin sa Diyos <laughs> di ba love? <laughs> Pero eto nga, uh, kayo as a, you were saying, uh, as a newly married couple, ba? you guys got married and then the lockdown happened and then you were really forced to get to know each other, like you said, you were forced na forced po eh. Oh, 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 walang choice eh. So, uh, I'd like to ask Mateo, ano yung napago? Paano yung naging dynamics ninyo when you were suddenly, you know, in lockdown together, making very important decisions together, being newly married? How was that adjustment? Um, you know, we got married Feb 20, 2020, and a week after that lockdown because of COVID happened. Uh, we stayed in a condominium for six months, kaming dalawa lang, at yung isang aso namin si O4. And, um... It, it was actually a challenge. I loved the challenge. I love. I loved it. I had a great time. Madaming learnings. Madaming learnings. Um, but you know, it was the first day. Sabi ko, love. You know, this is the first day na adulting na kami ba? Na ito na yun. This is our life together. Let's start this off properly and 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 uh, nicely, ko baga. So the first thing I did, I opened an Excel sheet and. Uh, Feb 2021, uh, Feb 21, 2020, our first lockdown, the next day, uh, two days after, 20, Feb 2022, 2020, the first lockdown of our first expense. So from that day up to today, all our expenses are there. So are I, try to be a, I try to be a responsible husband. And, and thanks to your papa, to yeah, Josh, yeah. very supportive and helpful sa, sa aming po mag-asawa pagdating po sa hunting our finances. Yes. Yeah, I was gonna ask, how do you how do you discuss it? Like, do you schedule? Uh, okay, this time we're going to talk about our finances, or do you, did you establish rules from the get go? Na oh, love, yung makilove talaga ako, love. <laughs> ano ba tayo? Pa paano yung gastos natin? Ito ang sagot mo to, sagot mo yan. Paano yung usapan doon? Um, I think first and foremost, what's very, very important is, uh, I always told Sarah, knowledge is very important, you need to know. So when people ask you, you're not like, oh, ask him or ask this, ask that, you need to know. So as much as possible, every time we have our tax filing or, you know, accounting sessions, I always make it the point, Sarah's present, you know, so she knows what we're talking about. Um, it's not, uh, you know, the first sitting, maintindihan mo lahat, di ba? Ako din, hanggang ngayon, hindi ko maintindihan, di ba? So, you know, it's just very important to be exposed to this. And then afterwards, you know, Sarah and I will always talk, love, how do we do this? How do we, do how do we budget for this? So I'm very, very proud of Sarah that after every single, actually every single day, you know, you see her growth as a woman, as an independent woman. Um, that talaga, that, you know, she really knows what she wants, she knows what she wants to do, and she's very eager to learn, to learn about life and how to be an independent woman. Ang maganda ang isip. Ang maganda ang isip. But I'd like to emphasize Mateo's point on data. Kasi parang a lot of people get intimidated when you talk about finances. Kasi it's numbers eh, di ba? And not, not all of us are very good at math. Except siguro si Chairman Camacho and of course our Chief Financial Officer from Canada, Mr. Manjin Singh. Very much experts at that. But you know, this is what Sun Life is really all about. That you don't have to be scared to take that step because you have a partner taking that step with you. That's what we're all about. And this is what we're continually trying to tell Filipinos na huwag kayong matakot kasi merong gagabay sa inyo. I think just to, to interject there, you know, it's very, very important, especially for our kababayans, na investing, putting your money somewhere, it's sometimes very intimidating. You know? Like all the campaigns we've been doing for eight years now, um, Sun Life has given opportunities for our kababayans to invest for as much as 500 pesos. For 100 pesos, if I'm not mistaken, yes. So it's very important to 
explain to them properly that these investments are for long-term um, appreciation. But, uh, they appreciate this after 20, 30 years. So when you think that it's not there, but boom, you open it. Ooh, it's there. But, uh, so that's what we always discuss with Sarah and Love. We really have to prepare for the future. Not for today, not for tomorrow, not for next year, but for when we have kids, when they're going to high school, when they're going to college. So we try to think long-term. Oh, and of course, shout out to my favorite GB. He's been really guiding me. Of course. GB yeah, is my financial advisor here in San Wow. Hi, Sir. 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 Yeah. Uh, ang, ang advisor ni Mateo is none other than the president of Sun Life Asset Management. Grabe, <laughs> di ba? So, you can imagine the kind of guy that he gets. <laughs> Part of your, ano, part of your preparation for the future. Eto nakikita namin na you're getting into a lot of businesses, the latest of which is uh, G Productions. Can you tell us more about that? Paano ba nag-umpisa yun na? Nung nag-usap yata po kami mag-asawa, sabi ko lang, no? Parang may mga, may mga nakikitaan kami ng potential sa mga artists na parang we we feel like kulang ng push, eh. Diba, love? Parang galing nitong artist ito, pero hindi hindi na push masyado, hindi na ma-maximize yung kanyang ano, yung talento niya, yung capabilities niya as an artist. And ako din po, may mga, may ba, makikita ako, marinig ako ng music na i-offer po sa akin, pero mayroon ako may isip na certain artist uh, na, na parang mas bago ito sa artist na to. So parang sabi ko, love, may, parang nice din na in the future makapag- Ah, uh, hindi naman manage, no? Parang ma-involved din tayo sa production ng kung ano mang project yun, no? So G Productions is our is our baby project. It all started um, during the pandemic. No, nalala niyo po yung pandemic times, we were all shooting by ourselves at home. Sure. Diba, hindi tayo pwede lumabas. So, nasa bahay lang kami nagsushoot-shoot. Tapos sabi namin ni Sarah, Love, gawa nga tayo ng production company, G Productions. Tapos nawanan lang. And afterwards, you know, we took it seriously. And, um, yun, G Productions is here. We've been co-producing projects with Viva, of course, our management, um, for two years, a year. So, Sarah's music videos, her concerts, this coming July 7. Sana makapunta kayo sa Karaneta, July 7. From the Proxy, what's it? Bakas tayo dyan. No, but more importantly about the bakas and everything, you know, Sarah, I, I, we're, we're really encouraging Sarah that she owns, this is hers. She's the president of G Production. She has creative control in doing what she wants to do. Yes, actually, yun yun love, no? The creative. Creative oh, control. I'm yeah. extra now. I'm just here to support my wife. But you know, I I want to feel. I want to make her feel that she can do what she wants to do. Uh, with G Productions with Viva, and um, this is her her company. So you know, I'm just here to support for her. You know, the legs here down here, but uh, it's all her brains and so all, all her creativity. So you know, that's G Productions and G Studios, which is our physical studio. Um, we're opening end of July. So kung gusto niyo magshooting, don't go to G Studios sa Alabang. So we're opening July. Wala so, po kasi studio sa Alabang eh. Yeah. And marami tayong mga kaibigan from the industry uh, who live in ano. So, in the South. South. Yeah. So my my wife has a businesswoman uh, heart. It's inside her. <laughs> Actually, talaga. Yes, yes. You know. <laughs> so I'm just there to support her. Kasi you know. ako po ang creative side lang talaga po ako eh. Kasi dumaki din ako ng ganun eh. Di ba na? But yeah. Kasi part yun ng growth mo, tama yun na, na maging maalam ka sa, sa pera, di ba? Kasi parte yan ng buhay, di ba po? But I like that uh, yung sinasabi mo kanina, Sarah, about may nag-offer sa'yo ng kanta and then you hear it and parang may naiisip na, ay bagay ito kay ganito. I mean, that's, that's such a generous thing for an artist to be, di ba? Kasi if you were really just after yung ano, kita lang, or ano, di ba? It's all business. You would get it for yourself, di ba? Pero, you know, there's that generosity to support other artists as well. Yes, definitely. Sarah's all about uh, collaboration and lifting up Filipino artists. Kumbaga, if you can, if you hear her new songs, spokesperson now, eh. <laughs> if you see, if you hear her new songs, these are all from new artists new Filipino artists, you know, because she always says, love, ang laki-laki ng K-pop, why can't we make Filipino artists even bigger? Because talaga, that's our goal kasi ba, to really push Filipino artists. Kasi naman, even ang award-winning bodies, no, importante yung legitimacy, yung credibility, uh, magkaroon tayo po niya, eh. Kasi, di ba, sana magkaroon tayo ng Grammys, ng ano pa, ano pa ba, love? Parang Oscars, Golden Globe Awards, alam yun, sana one day talagang bigyan natin ng pagyamanin ng gusto ng ating 
ang ating uh, singing. Si Madam De Leon na lang, nasa Gram, nasa, she just got, oh, yeah. uh, Dolly De Leon. Dolly De Leon, yeah. she's part of the Grammys or something like that. So, talaga Filipino per, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Oh, Oo nga. Ayan. Definitely a lot of potential pa no, in our uh, Philippine entertainment scene. So it's good to know na meron tayong mga uh, dreamers and, and visionaries like Sarah and Mateo looking after that and taking on uh, the challenge of lifting, uh, further lifting the Philippine entertainment scene. But of course, hindi naman tayo parate puro trabaho, di ba? We'd like to relax as well. Um, kayo as a couple. <laughs> As a couple, ano ba yung mga ano ninyo, favorite forms of uh, uh, leisure and how do you enjoy your time bonding together? I mean, ma'am, ano, nakakatawa nga, no, every time na, na nakakapag-travel kami mag-asawa, sabi ko, yeah, ayun mo, basta meron talaga tayong sapat na fun sa pag-travel natin, okay na ako eh. <laughs> okay na ako, basta makakain tayo na maayos. Basta wala na yung mga material things. Yung importante, meron tayong ano, uh, funds para sa travel and food. Di ba? Good food. Food! Food! With ano yan, ang emphasis. <laughs> Oo, kasi hindi po ako ma materialistic talaga eh. Uh, uh, sa trabaho ko po, parang it is our responsibility na pangalagaan our Siyempre, yung aesthetics natin, yung isuot natin. Kasi sino, sino, sino pa ba naman po ang mag-aangat, mag uplift ng sarili natin, ng image natin. Buti tayo-tayo rin na artist, uh, responsibility natin yan. But yung travel talaga is, we really enjoy traveling. No? Eating so, good okay. food. The Gianni, oh my God, such good food. And Although then, eating memories. Beautiful memories. Memories, of course. Hindi masyado alam ko saan nilalagay kay Sarah lahat ng food na yun. Ano? Kasi so, grabe ito mag-workout. Grabe ito mag-workout okay. sa Sarah. Oh, tell us about your health uh, health routine as a couple. Come on. No, yeah, I, I regularly work out, but Sarah works out all the time. Um, she does yoga a lot. She does Pilates. Um, she does treadmill every night before sleeping. Uh, every night. Every other night. Pag may concert lang. Pag may concert! No, but she really keeps fit. And not a lot of people know she's a very strong runner. Okay? She she runs very, very good. She can do her 5K in, in around 25 minutes. Uy, uy, ito naman 26, na. let's say 26. So she's a good runner. That's still very good. That's still very good. Um, so, my, yeah, she can run very well. Grabe! Alam niyo ma'am kung ano yung sinasabi niya na 20, ano? Under 26? Kasi mag boyfriend girl ba tayo no? Siyempre <laughs> pa-impress ako sa'yo. <laughs> wala akong choice no? <laughs> wala ka pa yung walang choice eh. Sabi, yung, yung, ano, living healthier lives eh, kasama sa pagiging couple ninyo. I love it so much. Okay, now I'd like to know also, kasi parang you're also very passionate about about nature, about the environment. Um, What are your uh, uh, advocacies? Can you tell us more about that? Um, advocacies no? Sarah and I, um, just last year, we became very much involved in the sustainability of no? um, So we have this little um, space in, in the jungles of uh, Laguna, and uh, we fell in love with the place. It's a farm, actually, and we, we have some farmers there that uh, we grow little um, crops and some produce for our restaurants, kubaga. So we have some arugula, some lentils, some cherry tomatoes that we try to grow. We grow there, and and it produces for our restaurants, kumbaga. So things like that, no. And um, Sarah's also very, very passionate with animals, animal welfare. You know, she she started being involved with this uh, foundation called AKF. Um, Animal Kingdom Foundation. Animal Kingdom Foundation. So basically, they, uh, their, their whole messaging is to stop animal cruelty. Um, uh, animal cruelty, right? Yeah, yes, to stop. And an dog meat trade. Dog meat trade. You know, um, selling dogs for food, etc. to make kata and all. So, you know, dogs, love them, horses, oh, dogs. horses, and all these things. So, she's very, very involved with animal rights. Matter of fact, just uh, last week we were in Batangas in Tita Susan Enrique's uh, farm. And going back home, she saw them two kittens in the road. And then, sabi, love, love, take it down, kunin natin. So, you walk naman, may may ari. So, the driver went down and we moved the, 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 the cat to the side. And then, we, 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 we,
So talagang magpapasakasama ito. Nagpapakuha sila. So kinuha namin. So kinuha namin. And we gave them po sa to our friend in Batangas that she rescues cats. At first she wanted it for her house. So we already have five dogs plus two cats. Sabi ko love, I think that's a little too much. I think next time we have five dogs and two humans na lang. So, so yun na lang, instead of two cats. So anyways, we give the cats to our good friend that rescues cats and yeah, they're happy now. Bilang isa rin akong cat mom, I'm super, super touched. Thank you so much for for doing that, Sarah and Mateo. Okay, now just to close this little chat, I'd like to give, I'd like to ask you to give a message. Because as we were talking, as Carla was discussing a while ago, marami pa rin yung medyo uncertain about about getting insurance, about getting investments. So ano yung word of advice na mabibigay niyo for those na have all these financial goals, pero medyo may fear pa into learning about it or into getting into it? Um, for us naman, we'd like to recommend and of course advise our fellow kababayans no? um, that insurance is very, very important. Investing your money is very, very important, especially to a company or organization that's very, very credible. And to, no matter how small the amount is. Yes, no matter how small, you can always start. The earlier, the better, bubaga. You know? Uh, Uh, everybody knows sa araw ngayon sa social media, marami po mga scams ngayon, di ba? Um, invest here, invest there, di ba mamaya mag-invest ka doon, too good to be true, mga wala yung pera mo. Yeah, like I our, our, our kasambahay, you know, um, she was messaging an online app on a bank and she thought, sir, ito legit to, papasa ako ng ganito. And then hindi pala, naubos yung pera niya sa account. So, Things like that, though. We launched a very, very good campaign years ago called yeah, Slam the Scout. I hope we do something again in the future yes. to, you know, to really implement this uh, reminders to our kababayans. Now, what are the things we have to spot before investing? Kumbaga, no? If it's too good to be true, if the returns are too high, etc. If the organization is credible, etc., etc. So I think Sun Life is the perfect company for all our kababayans to start putting some money as soon as possible. Because one, the company is super credible, more than 100 years. Yes, 128 this year. 128 years. Two, our financial advisors are amazing. They know what they're talking about. They know what they're doing. So your money is in, in good hands. If you have questions, they answer your questions for you. So, yun, you know, um, and we give opportunities for our buyers to start with a very, very minimal amount. So the, the, the earlier we start, you know, the better it is for all of us. Yun. Don't be scared. And you know, ma'am, don't be afraid to ask. Just to seek help from talaga credible or mga experts, no? And of course, partner with a credible brand. No less than the number one life insurer, Sun Life. All right. Thank you so much, Sarah and Mateo.